Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the nine crate method. This is a very effective way to run crates in GTA 5 online without losing your mind. You get to save your sanity. All right, you don't get burnout. It's a great way to mix up your money grind, a great way to get RP as well. I'm going to talk to you about this and show you what it's all about. So hopefully you take advantage of this, all right? However, before we go any further, I want you guys to know that you can go to my YouTube page on any one of my videos or any one of my live streams, and there is a new way now that you can show your support for the videos that I've given you that have helped you out with my tutorials and my guides, and a great way to show your appreciation. Once you click on any video or any uh, you know live stream, not only can you hit the join button to become a member, but you can also click this little thanks icon right here, and you can show your appreciation by donating to the videos themselves you know this is a great thing for me because I make a lot of tutorials and guides and I help a lot of people out and if I've helped you save money on shark guards and things like that and if you want to show your support that way this is a great opportunity for you by all means you don't have to just showing up and watching dropping a like a comment that's just fine however if you, if you want to go above and beyond you now have a new way to do that and again it's greatly appreciated it really does help out it's a great way to support me as a YouTuber and a creator. Uh, and like I said, if I've helped you out, you know, because I know I have. I know I've helped a lot of people just get, you know, work their way and navigate their way through GTA 5 online. Uh, so if that's something you want to do, I would absolutely appreciate that and thank you. And this is how you do it, okay? So let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, so with the nine crate method, it works the best if you have a terabyte. You don't have to have a terabyte to do this. You can just go back to your CEO office. But the terabyte is like a mobile, you know, CEO office kind of uh, so what you would do and you do want to have two warehouses as well you don't have to but two warehouses of any size small medium or large either one's fine but what you want to do is you want to park your terabyte either in between or outside of the entrance of one of your CEO warehouses and just run a crate mission okay and the goal is you just want to run three crate missions three three crate missions right so you want to do a crate mission that has three crates in it you never want to do anything always buy three crates always never buy two or one now you could go for one if you want to if you're just doing like a rp grind right if you're farming rp because that's a really great way you just source one crate and then sell the crate right afterwards but always source three crates and then all you simply do is go back and forth between two warehouses that way it eliminates your cooldown time Usually you have a cooldown time of about five minutes, uh, so this will help eliminate that so you don't have to sit there and just wait. However, if you only got one warehouse, that's fine. You can do some VIP work, a client job from inside your terabyte if you have that uh, option available. You could you know, do a payphone hit, rob a gas station, whatever. You could do that as well. But the method is you want to go back and forth between two large or medium or small warehouses, and all you have to end up doing is running three crate missions of three crates each per warehouse and that'll give you nine crates and then you turn around and sell it and you not only get the bonus of the compound money by getting the three crates you know equaling up to nine but you also are guaranteed just one sale vehicle and it's usually always a truck usually now it can be a plane every now and again but nothing that you can't take care of nothing you can't handle all right and even if you do get two vehicles say you have like 12 or whatever you should still be able to take care of that i mean you know, there's three different levels of crate sales uh, for method-wise. You have the nine crate method, which is something that I've, you know, kind of pioneered and, and, you know, definitely advocated for because it's a really good way to not get burnt out and to still keep it fresh from other money grind businesses, you know. And this is not something that sort of, you know, replace the Cayo Perico. We all know Cayo is still king. That's going to be the best way to make money. But it's good to keep it fresh. And again, this is a great way to farm RP and rank up. Uh, but now you have the nine crate method and then there's also the 27 crate method, which is a very good method as well That's actually going to be the most efficient in regard to time to money the 20s basically you will you know get 27 crates in each of your warehouses, but that requires that you do nine crate runs, you know nine three crate runs for each warehouse uh, so that means you have basically 18 total that you got to run which can be still a little bit daunting. If you say you're on your lunch break or something, you probably don't have time for that. Uh, whereas the nine crate method, you know, you can get two warehouses at nine crates in about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, depending if you get some bad luck uh, with multiple vehicle runs or whatever. 
And then you also have the 111 crate. You just fill up your large warehouse. People always ask, right, Ty, can I sell a large warehouse solo? Yes, you can. 100% you can. I've got tons of videos on it. There are a couple of sale missions that require you to do a few things to you know, ensure that you are successful. But you can 100% sell a full 111 crate large warehouse by yourself. Uh, you got 30 minutes for the sale. You have plenty of time. There may be a few sales that you have to go scout the drops and take out some bad guy choppers, some NPC choppers. That's no big deal, though. You'll get that knocked out. But the nine crate method, I think, is the most effective because it's time effective. It's also going to not get you burnt out. And you can get this done extremely easy, especially if you are new to crates, with it's only having to be you know one vehicle for a sale mission. So I definitely recommend this. I've got five large warehouses, and on my live stream tonight, I filled all of them up to nine crates. It took no time at all. So I got five large warehouses with nine crates. Right now, there's a money bonus. There's a there's a multiplier of 1.5 bonus on CEO crates. So I'll be able to sell each large warehouse at almost 200,000, 189,000 per uh, of the each warehouse with the nine crates. It's a great payday right there. I and mean, there's not a lot of time I had to put into it. And for me personally, running crates is kind of therapeutic. It's real simple, real easy. Again, there's a few vehicles you want to, you know, you want to use uh, Mark II if you have it. If not, though, again, you can use a regular vehicle, an armored Karuma or something like that, uh, a chopper. And because you're only having to do three crate runs per warehouse, it doesn't eat up that much time, and it's very, very effective. Okay, so you have a nine. 27 and then the 111 crate methods but again like i said the nine crate method is extremely effective because you don't get burnout you still get to change it up from the you know monotonous money grind of the spamming and farming kayo or whatever else that you do and you get some great rp out of it as well and again you get great money from this method it feels like you really didn't even hardly do anything and it is a lot of fun so definitely take advantage of this while we still have it and even if it's not on a bonus money week for the CEO crates, it's still a great way to kind of mix it up and keep it fresh. And you can slowly build your warehouses up this way. Just run nine crates here and there. And before you know it, you'll have a full warehouse. And by the time it's double money on the next, you know, bonus event for CEO crates, you're good to go. All right. So thank you all so much for watching the video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the ills and reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.